Hail Mary, full of grapes, blessed be the fruit of the loom. Help us get through the tribulation. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the rosary and post-tribulation rapture. Oh, come on now. This is ridiculous. There's no proof of this. Oh, yes, there is. Here we have page two of a PDF uh, file, mosthoholyfamilymonastery.com slash forward slash rosary dot PDF. You can look this up yourself. I'm going to put it up on screen. It says the joyful mysteries here. There are, there are three groups of five. Interesting. The joyful mysteries, you have the Annunciation to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the, all those dumb ones there. I'm not going to read them all. The sorrowful mysteries, and then the glorious mysteries down here at the bottom. And look at number five, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth. And the virtues that come from it is the perseverance in grace and a crown of glory hereafter. Hmm, perseverance. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. We must be overcomers. Next, let's go to um, rosarycenter.org. Here you have the glorious mysteries, each one explained in great detail. You go down to the very bottom, and again, we have the coronation there. And down at the bottom, it says spiritual fruit, grace of final perseverance you got to have that that's very important you know and again this this fives you know what's the deal with the fives just like the Jesuit uh, uh, the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius uh, de Loyola you know um, you see the thing of fives the Illuminati law of fives Satan likes to use uh, some sister systems of numbers too by the way and it's funny because the number five is the number of death in the Bible. Very interesting. Let me show you one other thing here. I'm going to show you what's in this fine little book here. Next we go to the Catholicismabout.com and a whole bunch of junk there. Uh, I'm going to show you the article here. But uh, has this, uh, the coronation, the fifth glorious mystery of the rosary. The fifth glorious mystery of the rosary is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The fruit most commonly associated with the mystery of the coronation is final perseverance. And it goes down through there, talks more about perseverance and things too. But uh, you say, what does this have to do with the, the believing in a post-trib rapture? Well, if you believe in a post-trib rapture, then you're going to have to persevere to the end, endure to the end. Absolutely. And you're going to have to fight your whole way through the thing to avoid losing your salvation. Because if you get weak and you take the mark of the beast, you're done. You're finished. You've lost your salvation. Interesting. But let me show you here in the uh, official catechism of the Catholic Church. You can see it here, the catechism of the Catholic Church. And I've showed this in one of my pre-trib rapture moments. We'll go down here to the bottom. The, this is page 193. Number 675 here in the Catechism, the Church's ultimate trial. Before Christ's second coming, the Church must pass through a final trial that will shake the faith of many believers. The persecution that accompanies her pilgrimage on earth will unveil the mystery of iniquity in the form of a, a, of a religious deception offering men an apparent solution to their problems at the price of apostasy from the truth. The supreme religious deception is that of the Antichrist, a pseudo-messianism by which man glorifies himself in place of God and of his Messiah come in the flesh. Okay? And let me just show you one other thing here quick. I just looked down and saw this. Number 677, so you go from here down to there. The church will enter the glory of the kingdom only through this final Passover when she will follow her Lord in his death and resurrection. So, all these little nutty post-tribbers that are going around saying, you know, the, the, the pre-trib rapture was formed by John Nelson Darby who got it from a, a Jesuit named Ribeiro or something like that. That was the stupidest thing you'd ever want to hear. You get it right there out of the, the uh, official catechism and from these rosary prayers that I just showed you that the Catholics believe that there's a time of final, you know, purification, a time of final perseverance. When the, the faith of the, the faithful, you know, the, the whatever there, they're going to be tried. 
After all, why would the body of Christ go into the time of Jacob's trouble? See? It needs to be purified. It needs to go and, be, and persevere. We must be overcomers. And I saw now that Dr. Scott Johnson is also teaching this thing. And, you know, I might be doing another video on that in the future. But, you know, there's so little time. I'm just going to start saying some of this stuff, getting out there. He just put up a recent study back in late February here. It's early March right now. The March the, uh, was it the 4th? Or no, 5th today. The 5th. And uh, he just put up this study, I think the 22nd of February, saying about you how to be an overcomer and having to endure to the end. Works. Salvation. Then he goes, oh, yeah, but I'm not really trying to teach works there. Yes, you are, Scott. Yes, you are. It's nutty. But hey, man, if you're, a, if you're an official, you know, post-tribber, post-trib heretic, go on out, get yourself a rosary, start putting that thing around your neck because you're going to have to persevere. You need all the help you can get, man. And I mean, maybe they won't make you take the mark if they see you have a rosary around your neck. These are just beaded things too, by the way. They're not real rosaries. But, you know, I mean, just, just go and start flipping beads and start, you know, doing your little prayers, you know, counting your different beads there and what a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> Don't be deceived by this post-trib lying heresy. Okay? If you're saved, you're going up at the rapture before the time of Jacob's trouble. 